Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to my replay analysis of my second round match in the DPBC. As you can see, I started with a blitz. Um, I won the toss and chose to kick. Seeing as, you know, defend with 11 players is the idea. Um, see what you have to do on offense by what by already knowing what has happened on your defense. Um, playing Dion Lord, who's a very good coach, has a higher win rate than me in Champs Ladder. And I believe he's won Champs Ladder before. I'm not sure. Um, he went with Orcs, a couple of Mighty Blow guys. I mean, I can see why he's gonna go with Mighty Blow guys, but I think it probably wasn't such a, it's high variance, isn't it? So I'm hesitant to call it a bad idea, but it's it's higher variance by going double Mighty Blow. Uh, the tackle obviously to hit all my dodge guys. Uh, guard is obviously useful. Troll, fair enough. It, he's got the Troll Goblin for the one turn attempt. And also it's a bit more strength, though it does make him a bit slower against the likes of Elves. And and in the case of the tree, is still dominated strength-wise. Um, and the leader thrower, so he doesn't have block on the throw, which is quite important. Um, both three re-rolls with the leader. Uh, obviously, hopefully you've seen my team in the game before, but standard Wood Elf team, basically. Uh, it, I mean, this is standard rules, standard NAF rules, pretty much five skills. Uh, you know, 1,200 for the team. So, um, yeah, obviously incredibly lucky to get the Blitz here. Uh, try to get lucky with a POW to dodge through here. Um, although, <laughs> although it is the end tackle, so he, he did set up well to, um, to like, leave the gap there. Had had the, had he set up the other side and the gap had been through here, I could have re-rolled all the dodges and dodged a bunch of players through. So, um I mean, I still decide to go around, obviously, because I've got dodge on these dodges. And then fail the first dodge against tackle, <laughs> which <laughs> was a little bit unlucky, I thought. But still, you know, getting a blitz is, is good, isn't it? As, as much as the threat isn't so much right now. I mean, that was, that was definitely good play by him, and not anticipating the blitz, but making sure that he had a bit more protection against the blitz. Good position of the tackler. Uh, rather than me being unlucky or anything. With where he was. He put him in the right spot. But yeah, I mean, if if, if I hadn't failed that, you'd have, it would have been pretty much game over, I think, if, uh, if he didn't have a tackler there and, and all the elves had run through there. Maybe that would have been worth a reroll to get a few guys, try to get a few guys through. Instant, instant KO. Nice pickup. We're in chase cam, so we're watching from whoever whoever received its point of view. That's why. That's why. Uh, even though I'm the Wood Elves, I'm the Wood Elves and the Omelots of the Orcs. It's just to, just to see that. And I, I like the way he did this. I mean, he was relying on a pow to get two dice on the uh, tree, but you know, managed it. Look, you the stand up. I was torn here. Well, I don't think I was that torn, was I? Just take the free blocks. Take the free block and try to. Uh, Regroup is probably what I was thinking. It was a week ago now I'm doing this this replay, so I can't really remember what happened anymore. But yeah, yeah, control the mighty blow guy. Seems a good idea, doesn't it? So knock down both mighty blows and then just reposition a bit. Try and make it harder to get this guy up. And this this is a bit risky for him because he's getting three diced and three diced, but it stop it stops him coming through to assist the fat. Maybe he should have been here. This this guy should have been there so that he couldn't have got through to assist that blitz. Yeah, I was annoyed that I failed that dodge, um, but you know, I mean, it was unlucky. Obviously, one in six to fail the dodge because I knew that the chance was there to put tremendous pressure on him. But I'd, I'd got lucky to get the blitz. So. Can you do, what can you do? I mean, he gets to fully hit my leader here, which is which is a bit horrible for me. Three dice, this guy. I mean, it's still looking pretty good for him, but I mean, I've always got the uh, 
the leap in. I mean, especially when you look at this, I've got I've, the blitz has helped, hasn't it? I mean, well, not really, because I could have moved these guys around. But um, the fact that he just based with the mighty blow guy, and I got obviously lucky to get the stun. But still, he just let me bang him down. Um, so I've got I've got the guy in scoring range. So I'm th I'm not hating the idea of the leap in here. Um, obviously from behind with a guard. I've got some players on the ground, but no one's stunned. So base the cage a bit. Hooked up. Base, base, base. And then uh, yeah, obviously the tackler to jump in, seeing the tackle is less risky to lose. Um, seeing as no one has dodge on his team apart from the goblin, which is not likely to be very relevant. Don't need the strip ball because he's got sure hands. Maybe I should have. Well, maybe I could have followed up, but he's got tackle, hasn't he? So I'd just be giving up a two D. So I didn't, didn't really like that. But then also, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so I thought about a few things here, and uh, I'll let let's pause it here. I, I decided to just move back and hit hit the mighty blow because you know he's got mighty blow. Um, <laughs> rather than have him as a scoring threat, uh, as rather, rather than trying to just go for the score. So I thought about what to do here, and I thought. Um, the ward answer can go in, pick it up, dodge out, because I'm going to be re rerolling the pickup, whatever happens. Because um, I decided to use the reroll the pickup, I thought, go in, pick it up, come out, hand it up for the catch, who's got catch. If I've still got all my rerolls, go for a quick score. Um, the probably safer bet would have been dodging with the catcher, hand it off to the dancer. The only thing was there, I'm thinking, if I use my reroll and the pickup, I don't have to then do a two plus handoff without anything. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess I could just run here and try to stall, but instead I think I'm. I don't. I, you know, I'll I'll go with the war dancer, and one in four the dodge, KO'd, and he was he was never to return <laughs> throughout the entire match. That was a really costly dodge fail, um, and maybe I should have gone for that risk with the uh, with a catcher. I don't know. I just like the fact that I could just dodge out and then stay here with him and it'd be hard from, kind of hard to get the tackle through, is what I was thinking. But still, the stun on the, the stun on the throw was good, wasn't it? It means that it's scary. It would have been scary for him if my strip ball had still been around. <laughs> but, um, never mind. I guess he was sad not to get a three dice, but didn't need it. So things are looking pretty grim here, aren't they, really? A dancer down, another player down. The mighty blow off is good, obviously, but... The thing is here, at least by making it about the ball, it's turn three and he's still in his own half. Um, so, you know, I thought that was good. The thing is, though, having lost the strip ball, uh, he's actually got the, a better carrier now because he's movement six instead of movement five <laughs> and harder to get down on a one dice. So losing the strip ball is actually pretty bad because I really want him to carry it on the thrower if I don't have strip ball. So again, so now I just changed tack, got the two got the two dice blocking with the potential of uh, if it was a push, the tree could have hit him. Another random stun. I've done, been really lucky so far with the armor breaks. I think this is pretty much all the armor breaks I've done the entire game have happened in the first three turns. Um, interestingly. So yeah, Blitz. I thought about going to here, but then I thought you'd just get two dice down, so maybe I could have GFI'd there to put two guys on him. But I thought if I GFI'd there, I'm just going to get banged down. Maybe I should have GFI'd it here, but Again, if if you're if you're all one, it's really bad, isn't it? So don't really want to take unnecessary risks. In the same way as he won't be handing off, um, I don't think. Maybe he is. <laughs> no, he's not. He's going to three dice blitz with tackle, which is very reasonable. But yeah, it was, it was, that, that, that turn of regrouping was because I thought, hang on, 
he hasn't got that many turns to get forward here. So I can probably elf screen him somewhat. So I have to go on crazy for the ball. Back to a more reasonable defence. Obviously lost the lost one of the dancers. I was pretty much all in on a pow here, but I was ready I was ready to use my reroll if I if I didn't get a pow. Maybe I should have actually dodged it out and hit him from a different angle. Ah, blitz with a different guy. So that, that was good, but because I'd moved this guy, I shouldn't have moved this guy first. So yeah, hitting from a different angle didn't achieve that much. He shouldn't have come in first, but all worked out in the end. So got a little, like the, the tree's still doing a good thing, isn't he? He's still, uh, he's still, I mean, this was a bit of a risky block to make, but I thought it wouldn't be too hard for him to dice him. Maybe I shouldn't have blocked that. But now I've got a screen, this all kind of screened off. Um, so it's, it's getting hard for him to score now, just purely on turns left. And the fact that he's orcs and can't really move very fast or dodge very well. <laughs> Limited by his race selection in terms of scoring. He's trying to smash in as much as he can, but he just can't really, can he? That's the thing. So I'm, I'm playing pretty safe. I thought I did quite well here, playing playing safe, getting the, you know, getting the elf screen set up, elf screen incorrectly, as some might say. I was prepared to use a reroll there, of course, team reroll, uh, and I thought the failure state of that one wasn't as bad as the other one, which is why I went first. Dancer blitz, because he's got block. Duh. <laughs> Get him back as well. So I was I was pretty happy with this turn, I think. And then move the tree in there. I mean this is looking horrible for him now, isn't it? It got the full the full banks. Dancer around. Tree not irrelevant. Maybe I should have uh, based up the troll there, maybe I should have gone one, two, and then although it would have given him a troll hit, he doesn't want to hit with a troll, does he? So maybe I should have gone there to, to try and occupy more players with the tree. Because yeah, you got the troll in there. Oh yeah, he could have been there to, to base the black orc as well. Yeah, that's, that's a good point by Scroll Dude in chat. Yeah, maybe he should have been there. But I wanted to get him. I wanted to get him more in front of the. The thing is, you know, if I if I go here or here, I'm getting behind his line, and I wanted to keep the the tree somewhat in front. Maybe I could have even moved the tree to there with the two squares. That might have been better. Um, I think I got to try to hit the troll here. Yeah, I do. This is probably a bad move. Uh, I mean, I was I was pretty unlucky to to fail the dice roll for it. Um, but I was thinking about trying to get at one dice on the ball. And then decided against it and went for the safe play of uh, two dice on the troll with a ward answer. But it meant that I had to dodge afterwards. But I mean, I don't know, I was going to have to make a dodge at some point, so... That was a one dice block. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, bl that was right, that was right. So I was thinking I was going to blitz the troll, but then I thought I can't blitz the troll because... Um, because a push is terrible. So I thought a one dice blitz there for a push, dodge out, screen... Two dice the troll and now then he's completely fucked, right? That's what I'm thinking. But unfortunately what happens is double one the dodge. And now, I mean Diomelot had a chance to, to break free. And uh that was maybe he's a bit bad by me. I don't know. I mean I could have because I had the chance of it was I mean the blitz was only one in thirty six to fail because I was obviously ready to dedicate a reroll to it with three. But um he does absolutely the right play in uh three dicing with the troll. For a pow, gets it, and now he's got he's got a huge hole, hasn't he? So um, 
so maybe I shouldn't have tried to hit the troll. I don't know. I, I, I was first. I was thinking of various ways to to chain out and get hit on the ball, or get the tree into a better place or something. But I don't know. I don't know. So I, at this point, I was pretty sad <laughs> because he's got a really good chance to score, hasn't he? Um, I'm pretty much almost completely out of options. <laughs> do I just try to uh, screen or do I go for a hit on the ball? Is the question, isn't it? And he made a really good, really good move with the orc thrower there because that stops me. Well, makes it a lot harder to get the one dice on the ball. It means this guy's got to come around and cancel the assist. Which he does. Uh, maybe I would have tried to, I think I would have tried to screen, screen if he hadn't made the dodge with the uh, with the throw. So I've got a leap there to uh, make it up one dice instead of an uphill from the guard, obviously. Had to, had to hit from there. And get incredibly lucky, get the five plus, and get the pow. Um, and I move, I moved my scoring threat first, which was maybe a bit, maybe that was a bit naughty. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. And then failed to pick up. <laughs> Caught it. <laughs> um, I mean, you know, I could have just made the pick up and dodged away and passed it or something. So I was okay with the with the going for the pick up. The scoring threat. It was a bit greedy, but it wasn't terrible. Um, but overall, obviously, incredibly, incredibly lucky to get the uh, to get the one dice power there. But you know, incredibly unlucky to get the uh, the one in thirty six dodge fail from the, the war dancer. If I hadn't got unlucky, I wouldn't have been in this position. So you know, that's the thing, isn't it? It's 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 always. Yeah, this is a nice little chain push here to get his guy free. I like that. Yeah, but still hard for him. He's good, but he had to two dice this guy for a push. I think a push was good enough because then he could have two diced him for a push. But um, as it was, he got powers. So he, he 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 did he did you know it was a pretty it wasn't that low chance of him scoring after he after he got the knockdowns that he did in the chain push out orc throw a pass. <laughs> But he failed the pivot. I mean, it was worst possible scout for me then. Three tackle zones. Uh, it wasn't such a bad chance of scoring if it hadn't, you know, if it'd come over here or something. It would just been a leap and run around and pick it up and score. Um, I thought about trying to dodge the catcher's round and uh, one dicing this. I could have tried to one dice this black orc for a scatter. Maybe that's what I should have done. Instead, I rolled a one in nine with a. War dancer. Maybe I should have, you know, maybe I shouldn't have risked the war dancer in that. I should have maybe learned from risking the war dancer in the risky play earlier, and maybe I should have just gone for the one dice for a good scatter. Um, only one KO comes back. His one KO comes back. But you know, defended, defended the, uh, defended the half. That's all right, isn't it? Um, now I can try for the one nil grind, as it were. Down two players isn't isn't too bad. <laughs> One of them being Warden's is pretty bad. But against you know against Orcs with three mighty blow, you've got to expect to be outbashed, haven't you, with Army Seven? So now it's a bit of a gonna be a bit of a game of cat and mouse, isn't it, where I try to get him to commit his tackler. Um, try to get him to commit his team somewhere so that I can, uh, you know, use the movement and agility to reposition out of the way. Um, so a bit of probing and <laughs> not anal probing, but uh, you know, a bit of a bit of probing to see probing the defenses so that then can reposition is the idea. This is a bit of a weird setup here, the dancer on the LOS to try and blitz and come back and pick it up because I think I've got to have the ball in the blodger, then the uh, you know strength three blodge, then the only threat is the tackle really from getting the ball. 
oh, it does limit the usefulness of my dancer. But you know, you can't be afraid to, to blitz with your ball carrier when it's a war dancer, can you? Um, so pretty lucky there getting the thrown rock, though it's only a stun, and it doesn't really affect him that badly, um, to be honest. I mean, I push there, I'd just have to push him away and dodge. But uh, run all the way around to not make another one in 36. Maybe I should have tagged the Black Orc there, I don't know. Two dice block without block before securing the ball. Bit risky, wasn't it? Bit risky. Maybe I should have made this block first. Um, so I could have used a team reroll on it because at the moment he, he can put a lot of pressure on. But I think I'd, I'd committed to just not rerolling at that point when I when I took the air tree block. And then obviously the handoff to get the dancer, give the dancer the ball. I mean, it's rough, isn't it, with this few... I mean, it's only nine. Like, it isn't that bad to be down two players. Obviously, nowhere near as bad as it would be as a bash team to be down two players. But it does feel horrible not having 11. <laughs> Goes for the mighty blow blitz over the tackle one and gets a... Gets a... Gets a stun thanks to Mighty Blow, and so he does go down that way anyway. So I'm I'm just hoping he commits somewhere basically on this offense, and then I can move around. The fact that I've got so much dodge, and he's only got one tackle, means that um, good things could happen. But yeah, he's not committing the tackle there, so. I think make the block that I can. <laughs> Just open up with that. That was dodgy, wasn't it? <laughs> that was a bit dodgy. But again, I'm not too cared about. I'm not. I don't care too much about the ball. The fact that I've got it on blodge and his tackles far away. But maybe I should have made these moves first. I guess. I guess these two moves should have been made first before that block. Uh, though I, th I was thinking, if I made a power, I could make a cage up here. Was it was an idea? I think. I think that's why I made that block first. If I get the power, I thought I could cage. But then the cage there would have been scary because he could hit me from both sides. So I, I don't hate this. Uh, just trying to come up here anyway. Dodge without dodge and a GFI. Pretty dodgy. Screened off, kind of. I'm giving a hit on the tree, but... Obviously, the natural way to do it would be by basing the tackler, which if he gets a push is horrific for him, having his tackler on the tree. So I liked following up with the tree. And now th this is where he kind of commits. Maybe he's a bit too much. by uh, Gets himself pretty out of position by basing these three. And I was, I was in the stream. <laughs> I remember I was, I was streaming it. And thinking, oh my god, please, please base the ball. And he based the ball. If he had just come back here, uh, you know, it, it would have been a lot better. And uh, and he's just left me. He's just left the whole pitch open. Sure, I've got to make a, a scary 1 in 36 roll. But um, let me count these squares now. now. Now that I'm watching the replay, let me count the squares. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I wasn't an, an, an idiot. Um, I did move the full 8 squares with this guy. But uh, maybe I should have GFI'd with the catcher. So we shall find out. So, I mean, I, I, I stopped the, the bottom side in all of this. I mean, I could have just powered. I could have just powered his tackler, to be fair. Oh, shit, I did. I was an idiot. <laughs> so I could have just powered his tackler. And I only moved seven. So this was a bad misplay by me. Bad misplay. I could have moved him to here. Um, but I didn't. So I left him a four plus three plus to hit the ball um, on two dice because of the goblin. So yeah, I should have absolutely 100% moved this guy right there. Or maybe even at here. Um, yeah, maybe even in contact. So that was really bad, really bad shout with a catcher there. 
he should have been here or here. And uh, I realised, <laughs> I realised just how bad it was <laughs> the following turn. But you know, if I just powered the, if I've just powered him, or if I'd moved this guy to a better square, he was really up shit creek because he'd committed too heavily. I think, although I, <laughs> you know, the dice what being what they were, um, and look, he wasn't that likely to get the ball here. He'd have to make a four plus three plus without dodge, a three plus with dodge, and then a two dice. Obviously, once he gets to the two dice stage, he thinks he's unlucky. Um, but he did do a four plus three plus dot to get there. And then he gets pushes, re-rolled into pushes. So, you know, he thought he was really unlucky to not get the pow on two, which, you know, he kind of was. He's got 80% to get the pow once he gets there. But the, the full string of rolls, he, he wasn't that likely to get me. Um, but yeah, I should have I definitely positioned the catcher better. Um, <laughs> yeah, I do all of this because I'm thinking um, I want to pow him here so I can just two plus away. I don't want to risk a one in nine dodge or anything. So, you know, the idea was to uh, to pow him. And I, I didn't care that much about surfing the goblin. It was more, it was more about, uh, you know, I thought I'll go for the surf because I don't want to have to make a three plus dodge. But as it was, I didn't get the pow. So I had to make the three plus dodge anyway. But now, of course, I'm uh, almost home and dry. Maybe I went a bit too far for, but I wanted to get away from the tackle there. Maybe I could have only come to here or something and uh, protected better. I don't know. But I mean, this seems pretty pretty strong, doesn't it? Isolate the troll. I thought it was a nice play. He activated him first and went really stupid. So that was, it was a nice play as it turned out. So yeah, it's a funny old game. I, I, I think he was about a one in six to get the ball off me there in, in, in the full sequence. But, um, you know, as it happened, he felt he felt unlucky because he failed on the last dice roll. Obviously the last dice roll was unlucky not to power me. Wow, going, blitzing the most capped German player of all time. What a, what a horrible person. <laughs> He does. He does quite a good job of you know. The t he hit the right guy there, didn't he? So getting the tackle on on all three of them had he not gotten the armor break, and he does get around in front. So I mean, I think I should stall this for another turn at least, shouldn't I? Yep. Well played, Jim. So I mean, it was only it was only really a two a one in thirty six to have it pretty safe. He could he, he was the chance of coming round. So with the chance of coming round, that's why I made this dodge and blitz. Um, it got it got this catcher out to come round there to fill that to fill that spot. That was the idea of that blitz, because obviously otherwise it'd be a three plus through tackle, which isn't something you want to do ever. So yeah, so he, he got there to make that safe. I was ready to invest a reroll <laughs> after after the disaster of the other catcher. I thought I'll invest a reroll there, and same here because I wanted to try and make the stall safer. Um, maybe I shouldn't have rerolled that. There's only three turns left, but maybe I shouldn't have rerolled that, and I should have just committed to scoring next turn. Um, but there you go. Because he's, he's not putting that much heat on, is he? Although he's got the tackler in a good spot. Uh, central to be a sweeper. He's kind of, you know, he's trying, he's, he's done a good job at making it, spreading his team out. Unlike unlike when he gave me the, the, the like, license to go forward the other turn. He's done quite a good job this time of not over committing. It's kind of made it pretty hard to stall. I probably could have stalled, to be honest. I probably could have uh, maybe moved up a little bit here or something. Move back a bit, maybe serve this guy. So, done something differently. I probably could have done. 
but um, I just thought I don't I don't really make any any unnecessary risks. Um, I could have just blitzed with this guy, but I thought the Say hello to my little friend. risk of failure, like the failure state, was better to fail a one in eighty one than a one in you know than the one in twelve nine six. Um, or whatever, so I could have won in 36. I could have just dodged away with a ward answer, but I thought dodging the other guy was better. And then blocking so that I just really wanted to play it safe, basically. Even though it was a bit riskier, the failure state was better. And then I could have blitzed with a dancer before I scored, but again, I just thought, look, I'd only use the reroll. I want two rerolls for my two turns of defense at that point. So, um, right, so it's back to his reception. So, you know, I mean, he's got three turns, two rerolls, and a one man advantage. It's not out of the realms of possibility for him to score here. Um, but I mean, I wouldn't be ashamed of, draw, of, of a draw in this game. And then I get a second blitz of the match, get banged on. Um, you know, that was obviously <laughs> pretty lucky. Really lucky. It didn't get the power, so I can't even try to dodge through. And again, he put the he put uh, he put his tackler in the right spot. But I could go all the way around, couldn't I? And and did. <laughs> and then make some dice rolls here. To be fair, there's, a, there's some some dice were rolled here. Because, I mean, these are movement 8 with sprint. So, I thought, why not? Why not just run all the way around? And, yeah. That, that's what else for you. Um, team split in two, ball behind the screen. <laughs> not bad. Not a bad blitz result. <laughs> not the worst blitz result I've ever seen in my life. Um... <laughs> now it's just whether he blitzes with a thrower... Accepting a both down, or if he goes with a four plus dodge to hit with five plus dodge to hit with tackle. He does hit with a thrower and gets the pow, dirty dingo. I was a little sad, a little sad to get powered then. It was fair enough, wasn't it? I couldn't really complain after getting a blitz and catching the ball and screening it. I mean, just the just that act, even if I hadn't scored, almost kills his chances of scoring, doesn't it? Um, even without me getting the touchdown. Like, even, even though he popped it, just the fact I've caught it means that he's pretty much got no chance of scoring. And uh, as it is, of course, get to, uh, get, to clear a get to clear a tackle zone here with a chain. A three plus pick up the reroll isn't even bad, is it? Don't know if these moves were necessary of tagging that guy or whatever, but there you go, he's off. The two nil win is secured with the the GFIs, um, and there you go. I mean, I, I could have again, maybe he's just stood there and whatever, but. Uh, 2 0 thanks to and, and this guy still stays killed. <laughs> but you know, but the second blitz just completely killed it for the first blitz he kind of recovered from, although it did it did cut down his time and stuff. Um but the second blitz was the absolute killer, wasn't it? Uh, just in terms of time, even even if he had even if he had uh, even if I hadn't scored from it. The fact that I was able to split his team in half, he was he was just never gonna get to score him. Three turns then, really. Um, I probably should have set up to. I, I misplayed here because I should have set up to stop the goblin toss. Because his only chance at this point is to score in one turn and then get a blitz or a riot. So I should have absolutely um, set up to stop the goblin throw. A 
as, as I realised as he was set up like this to uh, to make the goblin throw. I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, that's the only way. Yeah, like he's obviously going to try for a win, isn't he? World Cup qualifier. Um, you know, some people would give up here, but there's no reason to give up. As low percentage chance as it is, he could literally do a one turn and then a blitz. It's possible. So I, I should have I should have defended against the one turn goblin toss. Poor old orc throw having to make a GFI here. <laughs> Makes it lucky dingo. And he uses the reroll on the really stupid, but um, tries to eat him. <laughs> They're always hungry, so yeah. I felt really bad though. I felt really bad that I hadn't to try to defend the goblin toss. Um, what I probably should have done was try to hit the goblin so that he just couldn't score with him. Or hit the troll, like uphill the troll or up blitz the goblin. Maybe this is what I should have done. Um, but then it doesn't matter now. Well, no, it does matter because touchdown difference could be a thing. So I just went back to make a screen for the goblin. As, as I should have done in the first place. <laughs> I think I based the troll to make it a little bit harder for him. But after I, after I realised, I could have probably just left in and uh, hit the goblin with tackle. Might have been a might have been an idea. Obviously, last turn. Yeah, so I mean, it's it's not that bad. I put a, I put a guy on the troll. All he's got to do blitz him and then hand off. Uh, blitz him and then go for the throw. But still, but uh, maybe I should have double double base the troll. But even then, he he's got guys adjacent, so he could have blocked them off anyway. He does the he does the right thing of making it a three dice. Not that the mighty blow of the Kaz matters at this point. So I mean, I did get off lightly. I, you know, the one Kaz came late, and then this 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 Kaz was brutal though. He makes he makes the landing. He's in range, and fails the last dodge. Glorious. So um, you know, I was pretty much lucky to uh, to win two nil in the end. Um, yeah, only four arm raises, but they were like all in the first three turns, which put him under a lot of pressure. Um, the dice rolls, well, you know, you can't read too much into the dice rolls, but the GFIs were amazing. Um, dodges were all about right, whatever. Whatever, Trevor. No, I'm, the dice rolls, you can't really too, read too much into the dice rolls and stuff. The, the number of blocks and dodges, I guess, are, more, are somewhat relevant. And the fact that I made a lot of dodges. <laughs> um, but still, nearly made as many blocks as him. Uh, but there you go. Uh, so yeah, overall, obviously lucky. Um, but there was there was some there was some swingy swingy dice rolls for both teams. Um, so thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.